Hi, I'm Heather Knigge. I'm one of the art teachers at Worthington High School. Um, and I have been teaching here for three years. So I have been a part of our annual show for three, but it has been going on since the late 70s, early 80s, our student show. Um, when I was a student here, I got to participate in it as well. So it's a longstanding tradition. So we collect work for a full year, fourth quarter of 2022, all the way until third quarter um, right now. We're, we were collecting work even this week to put into the show. And so we just kind of collect pieces from all of our different classes. Um, not always the, like, the best pieces, but we like to choose artwork from kids that have worked really hard, um, that have improved their skills, um, to just kind of give them that confidence boost and showcase their work. So this show is ninth through 12th grade, and it's students from the high school and the learning center. And so um, we have a big variety of classes, ceramics, stained glass, painting, graphic design, um, crafts. That's why you see a large variety of work because art like makes our world go round. You know, you can't go a day without it. And so it's really good to get that awareness out there for um, our community, um, other students to see what our, our kids are making in classes. Um, it also gives our students a voice. Um, a lot of the work here today, it's more than just a picture. There's a feeling behind it, um, a bigger meaning behind it. And for some of our kids, it's the best way that they can express themselves. In art, we teach a lot of different things. They're developing their craft. They're becoming better drawers, um, better at ceramics, better at graphic design. But we're also teaching them how to be um, creative thinkers, problem solvers, how to observe the world around them. You know, all skills that they can carry on into their other classes and into the world. I just think that we are really lucky um, that we have three high school art teachers and another art teacher at the Learning Center. We're able to offer a wide variety of classes. Um, for example, stained glass, that's not very common in a lot of high schools and we get to offer that um, along with graphic design um, and ceramics and crafts. And so our kids really have a lot of, a lot of choice. Um, I also think we're really well supported by our administration. Um, they're always willing and helpful um, when it comes to putting on this event. And we're grateful to the Nobles County Art Center for giving us the space. Uh, my name is Maddie, Madeline Singler, and I'm in 10th grade. And this right here is my piece. Uh, I called it Spooderman for fun. Um, it's made of acrylic paint. It's uh, a technique called pointillism, and it took me around maybe 14 hours to do it. I think I just did art one last year, and I think painting's like my first art class that isn't outside of art one that's required. Um, I started out with using some of like my nail stuff that I use, like a little daughter, and then we went to school and Miss Busman, my art teacher, bought us some supplies that we could use that are like different size spheres, and so when you point them, they make different shapes. And then it was basically just mixing colors and finding the right shades for stuff. I do have another piece of artwork here. Uh, it's a watercolor painting that I did of the Parthenon in Athens, Greece. So my name is Alexander Coleman. I'm a junior this year and next year I'll be a senior. And this is my painting. What it is, is um, it's an artist that I listen to a lot. Um, his name is Lozy Bird, and he's a hip hop artist, R&B. And the reason why I did like the color scheme how I did was the back, I decided to do the background red because I feel I f it's one of my favorite colors and I really, I really like red. And then I decided, well, if I'm gonna do the background red, I should do the background blue as well, you know? Because then it would really pop. That, a posterized painting is where you get like the original painting that you're going off of, you turn that into like a black and white photo somewhat, and then you take the values from that black and white photo and you put it in a canvas or, or a sketchbook or whatnot. And then you can see the values, so how it is darker here and a lot lighter here. And then, especially with the face, I felt I did really good on the face. You can see a lot, like you can tell he's smiling, you can tell he's like, 
he has facial features, you know, you can see the nose here too, and his ears somewhat. But posterize, whenever you posterize it, it makes it so you can see the values lighter and dark a lot easier. What I did, um, the painting, was, not the painting, the original photo that I went off of was maybe like, like this big, right not? And um, what I did, I put it on this like old school projector and it projected really big onto the canvas and then I, I outlined the painting and I outlined the highlights and one and stuff like that and then after that I just put the painting in. Um, I just felt like I did a really good job. I'm glad it's in the art show too.